2323 BSBX dual year. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun one. Why is there a Beckett price guide? Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I thought the Beckett price guide would have phased out a little while ago. and still kicking, so. I don't think most... I think back in the day, Beckett was massive when people were trading. But I feel like it's it's a lot different now than it ever used to be. It's not really about trading. We've got a winning material dual jersey of Ryan Miller. Old men's yoga. But I will say actually, a decent amount of our customers still use it as a as a guide. So it does help them. So it does it has its purpose for sure. We've got a triple jersey, number to 50 for the Canucks of Burroughs, Kessler, Luongo. Number to 50. What would I do? I don't know. Like, realistically, I would say the easiest thing would be owning my dad's uh, stereo shop. That probably would be the easiest avenue for me. Buffalo Sabres, a seven ninety nine. dollars Zach Cassian. Autograph rookie jersey, but I don't I don't know. There's nothing else I'm super passionate about so We've got a rookie jersey to 799 Rafael Diaz Rafael Diaz We've got a finite rookie for the Maple Leafs Joe Colborn Go Leafs, go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd have anything else that would do, Glenn. Part of the dad's business, sadly. Not sadly, I guess, but that's probably what I'd do. Rangers dual jersey of Gabrick step on. <laughs> Yakupov was pretty big. Yakupov was a decent one. Um I'm trying to think who else has fallen like crazy. Uh, tomorrow's breaks will be posted right when I'm done this. So probably about five, ten minutes after I go offline. Phaneuf actually, Phaneuf dropped quite a bit. He was pretty hyped uh, back in 5-6. Louis LeBlanc was pretty hyped, yep. And a rookie to 4 99 of Hugh the Specimen Jessamine. And the ice rookie, we've got a 499 of Timu Hartikainen. Any other cool questions, guys? I said I love these kind of things. Bring it on. Bring it on. What else have you guys heard in this wonderful world of the internet that we could have some fun with right now? I have many PCs, yes. Many, many, many. Right now, Matthews is my main player collection, and then I do several sets every year. We've got a rookie jersey auto to seven ninety nine of Greg Nemish. <laughs> that will be when I'm done, Glenn, because I'm not gonna lie, I probably would burn down a lot of the things about the industry. That'll be when I'm completely out of this. We've got a rookie materials jersey of Good Branson. Like not to I know it's gonna intrigue a lot of people, but my god, 
it would make you guys look at a lot of stores and dealers completely differently. Some positively, a lot very negatively. Winning materials of Rick Nash for the Blue Jackets. So it, it would probably shake up too much. So definitely not going to happen. Oh, that's sick. Shadow box for the Capitals, Mike Gartner. But I will tell you, Glenn, in all honesty, that would be something I would be interested in doing at the end of my uh, CNC career. A legend of four ninety nine for the Boston Bruins of Bobby Orr. And what a fun story that would be. Finite rookie to four ninety nine of Mika Zibinishad. We've got a winning combos dual jersey of Bufflin and Kane. Winning combos dual jersey. That probably intrigued a few people when I said that, but you'll be waiting a lot of years. Maybe I'll forget some of them too. Not all bad though. Not all bad. There'd be a lot of uh, dealers that you'd look in a good way to. Finite to four ninety nine of Ben Holmstrom. Lebes. And we've got a nineteen ninety nine rookie of Ryan Ellis. Glenn. Just to keep that kind of conversation going, out of curiosity for you, what would you honestly be reading it for? Would it be for the stories that are the negative ones or some stuff that you want to know what goes on? What would you actually want to read that for? And of course, anyone else can answer. Like just funny stories in general. Far side, this one here, that's superlative, if that's what you're talking about. We've got a rookie jersey of Cal O'Reilly for the Preds. <laughs> so you, you want to get some dirty information. Is that what you guys want, eh? Uh, I don't know if it sold out yet, but I don't think it was. Four ninety nine, Jay Beagle, rookie for the Caps. I think there's a couple spots left, actually. It's a number select. We've got a rookie jersey auto to seven ninety nine for the Sharks, Logan Couture. So you're looking at more informative. <laughs> Ed, the short answer to that question is yes. <laughs> I do. We've got a sh uh, shadow box for the Sharks. Danny Heatley. Danny Heatley. But I do, yeah. We've got a winning combos dual jersey of Gone Charlatan. I'm trying to think in my head right now what the best rumor I've heard was. We've got a 999 Lemieux for the Penguins. I'm trying to think of what the best one I've heard of in my career here. Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> uh, small stories, nothing crazy. Nine ninety nine, Luke Shen for the Maple Leafs. 
Very, very little, Glenn. My stories would more so be a lot of the dealers that I dealt with when I was starting my business. The guys who wanted to bring us down. The guys who started rumors. This is a sick card. Flashback Fabrics. Dual Auto Jersey. Saku Koivu. Saku Koivu for the Montreal Canadiens. That's pretty sick, actually. Don't see a lot of Koivu stuff. That's a pretty nice one for Habs. We've got a winning materials dual jersey of Simone Gagne. And we've got Lebes. 